What's up everybody? Welcome to the first episode of QSNE, or Quick, Simple and Effective Cubing Tutorials by Jacobs. In the first episode, I will show you how I dropped my Megamix average from 4 minutes to 1 minute and 40 seconds in less than a month. About two months ago, I was one of the worst Megaming solvers in Latvia, even in the Baltic states. Every competition I attended and participated at, I got one of the last and often the very last place at a Megaming event. So I thought to myself, why am I a noob and why I have got to be a noob? So I changed that and now I am the third fastest in Latvia. So here are some trips, tips and tricks how to get faster at Megaminx. Tip number one. Choose how you solve the second two layers. And I will show you how I do them. And it's a very useful, easy and cool way to do them. And actually this is the same way as Felix Zemdex or any other fast cuber Megaminxer does it. So I usually solve one color at a time and I move counterclockwise. You have to start with one sim one center because it's way way easier for you to choose a color scheme and you already know in your mind for what piece you're looking for. So I usually start with orange and yellow. So basically I solve the edge first and then I fill in this F12 pair. And uh, where is it? It's right here. So let's just bring it right here and we have to fill in this F12 pair. So now we have it filled and uh, let's keep moving on. So this next up is the green center. So I usually solve this edge first and then do these two F12 pairs. So let's do this F12 pair now. Surge for the corner, it's right here. Let's fill in this F12 pair. Okay, and now let's fill in this F12 pair. Okay, so now we have the green and the orange s well center done. So let's do this, let's keep doing this all the way around the cube, basically fill in this edge, where is it, it's right here, and solve this F12 pair and this F12 pair. Now I am at the last center, which is the, the sky blue. Basically now I have to fill in one of the edges. Uh, it's quite lucky case wait. So as you can see, you just fill in one of the edges, then you do an F prime, or if you fill in this edge, you have to do an F. And I usually do an F prime and fill in this to this F12 pair. It's right here, so let's put it in. Then reverse your F prime or F, and now we have solved this tip and now we just have left the last two F12 pairs. And the last one. Okay, so now we have solved the S12. And this is, this is the S12 tactic I use and it is one of the best tactics out there. So I totally suggest you learn it. I will show you well, a quick wall through of the last layer. Basically, now I orient the edges. Now I orient the corners. Now I permute the edges. As you can see, these two are solved. The blue and the pink. So I have to do an algorithm to swap these three. And now we have permuted the, the edges. And the last step of all is to solve or permute the corners and here we have these two he these headlights and these headlights and this piece must go to the left so we do a following algorithm and now we have solved the mega rings and i recommend to learn all of these algorithms from the Fel felix zemdex uh, website cubeskills.com and I will put that in down in the description because it's the best website to learn Megaminx 
So when you learn, uh, if you learn the majority of the algorithms uh, for the last layer, then you just got to grind. You have to just grind those cells and your times will drop, drop, drop tremendously. You're going to notice your times drop by a minute or two and uh, yeah, that is what happened to me and my times are still dropping and I have done about 300 solves in the last two weeks, three weeks and dropped my average using these tips from cube skills I, using the algorithms I have dropped my average by like two minutes I hope these tips worked for you and uh, other than that, I'll see you all next time